This is David with The Verge, and this is the new Razer Blade. Razer's always been known for making gaming mice and gaming keyboards and crazy Windows gaming tablets like the Edge, but this time it's built an even crazier gaming laptop. The goal is simple. This is the Alienware 14, a gaming laptop that's 1.6 inches thick. And this is a MacBook Air. Razer wants to bridge the gap between the two and then add some more on top of it. Using practically the same components as the Alienware in a thin aluminum frame, the 14-inch Razer Blade is attempting to completely merge gaming laptop and Ultrabook into one awesome machine. The craziest part is that Razer might have pulled it off. Thin laptops are always filled with compromises, but there are surprisingly few here. For instance, the fully customizable keyboard is a little bit shallow, but typing is still quick and accurate. The touchpad is really smooth, though it has some trouble with responsiveness, and it's not quite the silkiest we've seen. The laptop's frame is solid and durable, and its hinge has just the right amount of weight and tension so that it stays in place but doesn't jostle the laptop when you lift the lid. The speakers aren't going to win any awards, but they do provide pleasingly wide audio for games. The biggest thing missing is ports. There's no SD slot and no Ethernet jack, among a bunch of other omissions. But really, if there's anything to harp on, it's the Blade's 1600 by 900 screen, which isn't quite as sharp as we'd like and has fairly poor viewing angles too. But the combination of low resolution and high performance in the Blade does mean the most demanding games run perfectly. Borderlands 2 and Max Payne 3 run smoothly at 60 frames per second even at very high settings, and even Battlefield 3 is playable on Ultra in a pinch. And yes, it can play Crisis 3. The aluminum frame helps a little bit to dissipate the heat from the processors, but it also directs that heat straight to your hands and lap. The worst hit is on the back edge of the laptop, which probably won't be in direct contact with your body, but should still be avoided at all costs. Then there's the price to consider. At $1,799, the 14-inch blade costs more than many beefier gaming laptops, and $300 more than a similarly configured Alienware 14, which comes with a much better screen anyway. And since the blade has no space for a full hard drive, you'll have to shell out two grand for the version with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive if you want to install more than a handful of games. That's way out of the reach of most Ultrabook buyers. This is still very much a gamer's laptop. But it's a gamer's laptop that's never really existed before. If you're looking for a stylish Windows computer that can fit in a messenger bag, get hours of battery life, and still play all the games you can think of, there's really no other choice out there. Razer's been trying to meld thin and powerful for years, but this time it's finally built a blade that's worthy of the name.